here at Lake Tahoe, at least at the South Shore, we're kind of tucked in here. We've got the clouds overhead, but the snow has developed on the West Slope, especially along Interstate 80 and the temperature hovering right around freezing at the present time. So you can see those wind gusts in Modesto, 22 miles an hour. Stockton got a gust of 37 miles an hour. So I think the strongest winds during the morning time will be in the San Joaquin Valley and especially on the east side of the valley. And then as you head north of Interstate 80, winds not going to be too blustery to start today. But look at the rain really filling in from the Bay Area and across the valley. Widespread rain, still a few dry pockets, especially off to the east and into the foothills. But look at this rain around Stockton, especially in Manteca. It is really coming down right now along 120 here from Escalon to Manteca and then heading to Tracy. This is a very wet ride right now. Same thing along I-5 and French Camp and along Highway 99. Then you move up into the foothills again. The rain is light and scattered and it's also scattered in terms of the snow so far. You don't have to chain up on 50 or 88, but they put the chain controls up on Interstate 80 up at Kingvale. You can see just a very light snow falling here at Whitmore grade. That's at about 5000 feet. So do expect the wettest part of the day, the morning time. So this is a look at future cast. We've got the waves of rain coming through during the afternoon. We get a little bit more of breaks in the rain, but still a few pockets here and there. And then as you head into the foothills, the rain is a little steadier still even heading into the afternoon and look at that steady snow again five six thousand feet into tonight but by tomorrow morning we break out into some sunshine to start our day in the valley for our monday so monday is looking dry and any isolated showers in the sierra start to taper off so you can plan your outdoor activities for tomorrow afternoon we'll be in a mixture of clouds and some sunshine and it will be dry then we get into tuesday morning and that next storm looks like it's going to aim mainly to our south so look how the rain fills in in the morning time tuesday from south to north and then during the day we'll get some heavy snow in the sierra that snow level will be be dropping three to 4,000 feet and scattered rain still in store for later on Tuesday. Rain amounts today look to be in that quarter to half inch range for the most part in the valley. A little bit better, obviously, up into the foothills, more than a half of an inch. And I'll forward this through Monday. Notice how we don't tack on anything because tomorrow is going to be dry, but then we tack on maybe a quarter to even as much as an inch of rain, especially as the farther south you head and especially into the foothills. So the Sierra forecast today expect nearly a foot at the passes, only isolated showers tomorrow, and then that snow returns for the day on Tuesday. Today's highs only range in the 50s to near 60. It's going to be a cool day, especially compared to yesterday. There's that dry break tomorrow. Rain in store for Tuesday, maybe lingering some on Wednesday. I don't think that's going to be heavy rain. And then we get maybe a few showers again on Friday. So today's the wet day. Tuesday it returns. Dry break tomorrow. So many people are in spring break and they're like, it sure doesn't feel like spring break. It doesn't. It's not going to be as warm <laughs> as yesterday for a while, we think. All right. One day we'll get the 70s back. Yeah, someday. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>